Hey guys, Brian, the Lovers of the Goods here. I'm returning to you for a throwback movie review for Season 4, Episode 20. And hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, next throwback movie review, because it's a 2013 movie. I thought it was a 2014 movie, but I was wrong. It's a 2013 movie for the second Hunger Games, Catching Fire. And it's the second one before it leads into Mocking Jays Parts 1 and 2, which those movies will be reviewed for next season, just letting you know, so, I do want to watch them again, so, the first part will be, hmm, the second episode of the season, if I deem it, so, basically, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this two hour and 26 minute movie for the Hunger Games Catching Fire, and let you know my thoughts on, uh, this sequel to the first Hunger Games movie. So let's dive into this movie review. Now it stars Jennifer Lawrence, which personally I think she's a great actress. And in these films, her performance was outstanding. And I actually think this is a pretty good film. Um, a really good film because it leads into the next film. Because uh, apparently after PETA and Katniss, uh, Josh Hutchinson... And, uh, basically, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's uh, characters, Peta and Katniss, um, they were about to eat the poison berries, and then the game, uh, the game ruler or whatever decided to, uh, say stop, uh, you win the Hunger Games or whatever, <laughs> the 74th annual Hunger Games or whatever. So, in this one is the quarter quill, the third quarter quill. For the 75th annual Hunger Games. And there's new. Uh, players. That are going to. They're going to have to face Katniss and Peeta. And that's Joanna. Uh, Finnick. Uh, BD. And. Uh, there's some others as well. From District 1 and 2. That were very untrustworthy. That they had to ki kill unfortunately. But basically. With what I watched with this film. The, cl the ending to the film is pretty interesting, and it just, if you've seen the film, you know that uh, Katniss throws that, air shoots that arrow at the dome, and uh, everything starts collapsing, and it went through the dome, and so the dome broke, and then I guess PETA got captured by the Capitol, along with Joanna, and also... Uh, Finnick, uh, Katniss, and BD were the only ones that got out. Um, the only ones that made it out of the Capitol, go into District 13, to uh, apparently start the revolution. So, pretty much, um, I actually enjoyed this film. This is a really good film. Um, I was more impressed with this film than the first one. Um, first one was still pretty good, but this one I think was better. Because it builds up to the next film, Mockingjay Part 1, um, which will be reviewed for next season, so you can guarantee that. And I just enjoyed how overall the performances were in this film, and the certain things that they had to go through in the Hunger Games, with the poison fog, the baboons, um, and just basically the lightning strikes and all that, and yeah, there was a lot that was going on in this film, not as much as the the Hunger Games was not the most important thing about it, but it, it happened for the film, but basically uh, there wasn't a lot, it, the Hunger Games, uh, uh, what is it, basically uh, was like a clock, the whole arena was a clock, the whole uh Hunger Games arena was like a clock, the whole area. So basically, that's what they were trying to figure out, like what what they got themselves into. So basically, overall, I think this was a pretty outstanding film, and I highly recommend you check this film out and the series too, because there's four films for the Mocking Jay for the Hunger Games, Hunger Games Catching Fire, Hunger Games, Mocking Jays Parts 1 and 2. And yeah, that's basically 
the end of the series after that. So first score for me, I am giving, I am giving the Hunger Games Catching Fire. Sorry for messing up with my wording. I slurred for a moment. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Really amazing film. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. I did enjoy this film. It did uh, have some moments where the Hunger Games was not the most important thing, but there was more that was happening where uh, Snow was not believing their marriage, uh, Peta and Katniss's marriage, and that it was all a show and all that, and he just was dissatisfied. I know they have a new Hunger Games movie uh, coming out this upcoming November, which I will watch it, but... I just don't care for Rachel Zegler, because I know she's going to be in the film, but she's done a lot of fucked up shit lately. So, pretty much 9 out of 10 for The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Thank you for watching this movie, throwback movie review tonight.